Welcome back. Well, if you test positive for COVID-19 now, you no longer have to isolate for five days. The CDC announced new guidelines today saying while COVID is still a serious health threat, it's no longer the emergency that it once was. Now the recommendation is to stay home while you're sick, but you can return to school and work once you're feeling better and have been fever free for at least 24 hours. Now, Dr. Ulysses Wu from Hartford HealthCare is with us tonight to tell us more about these new guidelines. Um, so, Doctor, thanks again for joining us. The CDC's new guidance uh, matches public health advice for flu and other respiratory illnesses. Um, are we now putting them on the same level? And that's what we thought, I shouldn't say we, that's what the CDC has been trying to do probably for the last year. You already saw breadcrumbs that this was going to happen, such as a respiratory vaccination one thing that was going, you know, one respiratory vaccine, one respiratory season uh, for each of the diseases, but lumping them all together. And so because of that, uh, they were moving towards this yearly respiratory season uh, that was going to happen. And what has helped this is that COVID, it still remains a public danger. It really does. But it's certainly the morbidity has decreased, the deaths have decreased, the hospitalizations have decreased. And so uh, they felt like this was a good time to move it on par with flu. And, uh, and RSV. Now, how have we gotten to this point where the CDC believes the changes are, are safe? Well, and so what has happened is that there's a variety of things that have uh, uh, led them to this conclusion. One, uh, as I've already mentioned, hospitalizations have decreased. Deaths have decreased. Even though they are still out there um, and in quite large numbers, they have certainly decreased from last year and especially the year before. The other thing is that there are therapies that are out there that allow people to be able to get treated early on. Uh, for So if you test positive for COVID, you can get these oral treatments, and there are inpatient treatments should they end up in the hospitalization. The other thing, vaccinations are effective. Uh, they decrease your risk of symptomatic disease and hospitalization by at least 50%. Um, and then finally, because of immunizations and because of illnesses, immunity in the community has gone up. And so that's why they felt like this is a reason why they can move to this now. That actually leads to my next question. Um, if you could just wrap up shortly, where do we stand with the, the future of vaccines or booster shots currently? Uh, so I, I missed that the question, but yes, we, we will continue to actually have these uh, booster shots and these vaccines. And actually a new recommendation came out um, that uh, people who may be immunocompromised or people older than 65, they should actually think about getting a spring booster. I should state that this uh, these new guidelines by the CDC, they apply to the community at large, um, but they still don't apply to educational settings or um, healthcare facilities just yet. Dr. Ulysses Wu with Hartford HealthCare, thanks so much for joining us tonight and for all of your insight. We greatly appreciate it.